Hey everybody, James from Coates Classic Cars here, and I'm uh, at a different spot today. I'm off-site. I'm at St. Elias Catholic Church here in Birmingham. Uh, some of you Birmingham natives will know this as one of our landmarks here in town on the south side uh, area. A beautiful church if you've ever been in it. We've done a lot of weddings here. And I'm coming to you today to show you something that's new. Uh, we've actually had this thing around for a minute, but we've been doing some little stuff to it. Uh, and just now getting it online and, and showing it to folks. So uh, there were a couple friends of mine saw earlier when I posted some stuff about this, I teased it a little bit earlier today. Uh, I, and I said, uh, we got a Godfather car coming. And somebody said, well, Kyle, uh, my friend Kyle Davis said, uh, pre-war Lincoln. It's like, well, we do have a pre-war Lincoln. We have a 20, beautiful 29 Lincoln that belongs to one of our partners over in our uh, Jackson collection uh, that, uh, that we can offer. And, of course, we have a 63 Lincoln. Uh, convertible Elwood that you guys all know and love that's that's in our well it splits time between our Birmingham collection and our uh, Carolinas collection uh, this is another Lincoln it's not pre it's not pre-war but it, it's uh, it's another one to, to mess around with that I think is a really cool car so uh, before I turn the car around before I turn around uh, to the uh, to the car itself y'all know a Neil right so this is a Neil everybody knows a Neil so a Neil uh, helps us out in the shop uh, and while I'm talking about him, I'm going to show this church because it's just beautiful. But uh, Anil helps out in our shop, and he also rents a room from me in the house uh, here in Birmingham where I live. And he comes downstairs a while back, and this has been a, a few months back that we've had this thing now. But he comes down uh, a while back, and he says, uh, and, he, and he gets himself a bowl of cereal. And he's got this sheepish grin on his face, and I really don't know what's going on. And I was like, oh, God, he's done something. Well, for those of you that know Anil, Anil likes to drink wine sometimes in the evening. And I thought, all right, well, so maybe he's had too much box wine or something. I don't know. So he, uh, he says, I bought a car. And I said, what? And he said, I bought a car. He said, I was on eBay last night, and I bought a car. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, what now? Well... Uh, so I immediately remember at that point that Anil has a company credit card. Well, to his credit, he didn't use the company credit card to buy the car, but he did buy a car. And y'all know, you know, even though uh, the company credit card didn't pay for it, uh, that who that who gets to take care of this thing and house it and store it and whatnot. Well, when I saw the car, uh, he so he got this thing in South Carolina and drove it home. And when he got home with it, when I saw the car, I, I listen. I got to be honest with you, I wasn't even mad. So there's two schools of thought with this thing. There's going to be two groups of people with this car. There's going to be a group of people with this car that say, "What in the world is that? What have you bought? What are you doing? Why would anybody ever want to rent that?" There's a second group of people with this car, and I know Ty Townsend, my friend who's watching right now, hi Ty, uh, is going to be in that camp of, oh my God, that's fabulous, you should have got one of those a long time ago. So without further ado, I give you a 1979 Lincoln Continental Town Car. This thing, like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, this is like what you would see in The Godfather Part 3. Uh, so that's that era of, of that film being set. And then, of course, the era of all of the Godfather movies being filmed. They began filming those in 1972. So these are the kind of cars that were running around during the filming uh, of the Godfather movie series. And were this was the, 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 the type of car that you would see being driven around in the third one. Uh, so this car, guys, I, I just... I got a soft spot for these. I'll be honest with you. I remember these things when they were new, and I uh, it got if that ages me a little bit because this car is 41 years old. People like me tend to think of these as being like, well, hell, that's just a used car. Well, we got to remember, this is a 41 year old car now. So this this is this is a collector in its own right, and we're getting more requests not just from TV and film and things like that but also uh, for the occasional wedding that's themed or wants something like this for something from the 70s or 80s. And those cars are becoming collector items uh, in their own right. So this is, is one of those. So this is Clyde. Uh, I like Clyde. Clyde's a good name for this. I, yeah, I got a credit to Neil. He's standing over there watching to make sure I don't hurt his baby. But he, uh, I got a credit to Neil for coming up with Clyde on this. But this has got some stuff on it. Some of you guys are going to remember the, the, the town cars from the 80s. So this is the last of the Continental town cars that had, you know, the 23 karat gold Lincoln compass in the opera window back here. And the thing's 19 and a half feet long. So this is nothing like 
what your grandma had in 1985 that was the scaled down version of this. This is the last big, fabulous, the engineers didn't care how big it was, they didn't care how much it took cost to feed it gasoline, they didn't care what it cost, the thing was $16,000 brand new in 1979, so that's about 60 grand in today's money. So we're talking about a pretty expensive car. Uh, back in the day. So this thing, he gets it here and I look over it and I'm just like, I can't even be mad that you had too much box wine and bought this thing. This is a nice car. I mean, I, I mean, let's just look at that. Take a look at this. So the interior, I think, is upholstered in Sharpe or something. I don't know what this is. It's velour. A lot of these came with leather. Uh, bless the ones that have leather's heart. They're all dried out and you, they don't tend to live well. Uh, after 40 years, but the velour is a really uh, durable and it, it's, it looks real. I mean, there's not a spot on the upholstery in this car. Uh, all the wood grain stuff is really nice. Everything works. Uh, I mean, the dash is not cracked. It's, this is not the kind of car that you just get on eBay and find. Um, and we didn't have anything like this in our fleet. So when we, when we got the thing, when Anil comes home with it and pulls it in the driveway, I'm like, you know what? We don't have anything that's like, oh, and while I'm here, you gotta, look at this, look at this. I can't take him anywhere. So we got, we even got the tag. I mean, I don't have it on the car cause it's, you know, it is what it is. There's a real tag for the car, but we did a photo shoot with this thing the other day and we had that on it. Matter of fact, uh, so y'all know when we talked a little bit last week about the Jeep, uh, our little army Jeep that we got, that's a new car. Uh, I mentioned that we have two different sections of cars on our website. If you check out ridebackintime.com, the featured classics, which are the stuff that kind of goes out every weekend. And then the novelty cars, which is stuff like our checker taxi and the army Jeep and the Woody station wagons and the pickup trucks. And than this. So check out Ride Back in Time when you get a minute uh, and look down towards the bottom of the page for Clyde. So this is what we're going to consider a novelty car. This is not something that's for everybody, but for somebody that wants a Godfather Lincoln, here it is. And I got to give a shout out to my friend Lynn Cummings from Appear Photography. I'm uh, not sure if he's on uh, the video today. I kind of in the sun. I can't see who's watching and who's not. But uh, we, did a, uh, we did an event the other day with this car right here at St. Elias and over at the Tutwiler uh, with a beautiful couple that used this car. That uh, The photos from that, it was done by Lynn Cummings at Appear Photography. And he, uh, we got the photos back from Lynn and got them up on the website. So check out ridebackintime.com. Look at the Birmingham collection or the Carolinas collection. This car is listed in both. And you scroll down to the bottom and look for Clyde and click on those and just check out that. That couple's fantastic. They were a blast to work with. And uh, Lynn does some absolutely amazing photography uh, that he got back to us on that and we threw on the website. So I, I can't get over the condition of this thing. Is this a 50s Rolls Royce? No, it's not a 50s Rolls Royce. Does it rent to the customer who wants a 50s Rolls Royce? No, it doesn't rent to the customer who wants a 50s Rolls Royce. Does it rent to the customer who really wants something unique and different that nobody else has? Or you're doing a photo shoot or you're doing a party that's this kind of theme? I, guys, I don't know that I've ever, I mean, I've seen these that were nicer than this, but it was 30 years ago when they were not very old. This is a 41 year old car and it looks like it rolled off the showroom floor, you know, last week. So I, I can't get enough of the thing uh, as far as, as, as the condition that it's in and it's just a blast to drive. In fact, uh, we'll jump into thing and, uh, and run around the block. Uh, while we're here. I gotta go. listen. I had to put a coat and tie on just to drive this thing down here today It was something else y'all know I'm usually doing these things in a golf shirt and all this It's like I, I can't be seen in a golf shirt in this car. So I'm gonna hand the phone to a Neil Everybody say hi Neil say hi Neil. All right, so he made a comment the other week about uh, he's not getting enough airtime on these videos and He needs to get a better agent. Well, I'm here to tell you I got his new contract from his agent and now he's making more of a more of an appearance. So I'm look, you know, you get in this thing and you look around and it's like stuff that we take, you know, stuff that we take. And yeah, Jeremiah eight track. Matter of fact, and he'll get us some tunes. So yeah, it, Jeremiah, it does have an eight track, and uh, it came with a whole stack of eight tracks in the glove box. Get a load of this. Oh my God, Curtis Mayfield Superfly. I can't even. I, I, I can't even with this. I, I got nothing. I mean it. Now, here it's going to call me a liar and not work today, but I've been riding around listening to the 8 track in this thing. Air conditioning, I mean, what Lincoln would be out running around without air conditioning? You got to have that. And I just, I can't get over the way it drives, 
Uh, like I said, when we got the thing, Anil went up to Anderson, South Carolina, drove the thing home. Uh, it didn't miss a beat. I don't know uh, exactly what the story was on this car because it, uh, it, we, the gentleman that we got it from had not had it very long, so we don't have a ton of the history, but I suspect that this was probably a family car uh, and maybe somebody passed away or something like that because it's just it's obvious that it's been in the garage So I'm gonna hand the phone to Neil because I'm turning it out on the road here and we'll go for a little stroll in this thing And uh, I, Like I said, this is one of those that I grew up with these some of the folks watching grew up with these things uh, And will remember these things, you know, th this is the kind of car that we have customers right now that they're a little older than this car, but they'll remember, you know, their grandparents having something like this. Uh, and we're doing a lot of film work right now uh, for car for uh, for things from this era. Uh, we're not doing it right now with what's going on in the world, but normally speaking, uh, in in last year we were doing a lot of stuff that was set in the 70s and 80s. So if you've got, you know, a party or a photo shoot or a, you know a themed a Godfather themed thing or uh, you know something like that, you really can't can't do a whole lot better uh, than something like a giant gaudy 1979 Lincoln Continental Town Car. So get on the website, uh, ridebackintime.com, uh, go down to the bottom, look at the novelty car section. This is Clyde. Uh, I've got photos on there from an event we did with a beautiful couple uh, just a little while back. It was shot by Lynn Cummings of Appear Photography. I've only got about half a dozen of those photos up right now. Uh, going to put some rest, the rest of them up later, but you can get an idea of what this thing looks like out in the wild. And I uh, also want to give a shout out as we're down here in the neighborhood uh, to our first responders helping with the COVID situation. I've got my UAB Blazers pin on today uh, representing my old stomping ground and, uh, and giving a little shout out to those that are on the front lines here at the University of Alabama Hospital and elsewhere across the state, country, and world. So check us out, ridebackintime.com. You can see this car and about... 27 others uh, that uh, that are great for special events and things you can dream up with uh, everything from weddings to parties to displays. So hope everybody's doing great. Uh, tune in next week. We've got some things going on in the shop. Uh, the, one of our Rolls Royce Silver Clouds, I got up in the air doing some work on it and uh, got some things going on with Jack, the 52 Buick, and uh, then just some of our normal project cars. So tune in next Thursday. I'm trying to do these Thursday, 2 o'clock Central Time. Uh, every week. Tune in next Thursday and we'll be back at the shop and we'll go around and uh, show you what's going on there. But in the meantime, I want to turn up Curtis Mayfield Superfly. I'm going to turn the air conditioning on, grab me a bottle of Fiji water. We're going to go for a ride. Everybody have a great day.